hey, it's Disability Pride Month. Let's make a belt buckle. I recently saw the redesigned Disability Pride flag by Ann McGill in collaboration with the disabled community with the diagonal stripe instead of the zigzags. The zigzags were problematic when scrolling. The new one is also much more do-it-yourself friendly. Instead of describing the CAD work you're seeing, I'll tell you what the flag symbolizes. References in the description. The black field represents the disabled people who have lost their lives due not only to their illness, but also to negligence, suicide, and eugenics. Reds for physical disabilities. Yellows, cognitive and intellectual disabilities. White is for invisible and undiagnosed disabilities. Blue is mental illness. Green is sensory perception disabilities. Please spread awareness by liking, subscribing, and sharing disabled content. I 3D printed the belt buckle and a new phone case in carbon fiber PETG. It was the only black I had available at the time. But we still need to add color to the stripes. It was designed to be filled with colored epoxies, so I masked some of the stripes off with tape. I should have trusted myself not to miss, because the masking was a mistake. Live and learn. I'm using standard 5-minute epoxy. The glitter and dye that we used for coloring, uh, our resin for SLA printing, didn't get the colors right, but it'll be fine till the next one. Mix your epoxy on a disposable surface. One arm hack. I like blue painter's tape because it stays put when I'm mixing. I recommend mixing the glitter into the epoxy and dye into the hardener, then mix the blobs together. Now with the disposable mixing stick, scoop some up and drizzle it into the appropriate voids. Take care to not let it overflow. Trust me, you don't want to clean epoxy off the surface later. Running the heat gun over the epoxy will pop any air bubbles. Repeat for each color. After filling the yellow void in the buckle, we went to fill the don't panic text in my phone case. I'm a huge Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy fan. And that way, I can carry something pretty close to the book's description in my pocket. Nerd! However, partway through filling the text, the epoxy kicked off, getting chunky and had to be poorly smeared into the letters. After it set, I had to carve and sand off the extra. Really a pain in the ass. Epoxy is wonderful stuff, but can be unforgiving. Let the epoxy set for the appropriate amount of time, usually about 24 hours. Please consider liking and subscribing to this and any other disabled content and share to spread awareness for the disabled community. Now let's get the belt buckle attachment made. All right, so I totally forgot to show you how to put the uh, butt loop on there. So, let's do that. Oh, and I had to do a slight redesign because the hook on this needed some uh, file work before it was cooperative. All right, so I like copper wire. Um, this is just um, some ground wire from uh, the Romex that we use to wire our house with. So usually start poking it in there a little bit, bending it round. All right, let's straighten this out a bit more. There we go. All right, so you got yourself a 90, and you bend it up a bit. And I like to make, so I like to make it so that the belt loop is bowed at the end of the belt or the buckle. So take the pliers and. Bend it into another 90. Now you can see, so you can see sort of where you need to put it from there. So, now 
Now this takes doing a few times before you'll figure it out. No, that's not a very good corner, but that's okay. Leather is pretty flexible. Yeah, not super great, but it'll do. Rooster behind me. There we go. Alright. I'm gonna nip it off at an appropriate place. Out there a little. Oh, that's a bit short. That's a lot short. But it's also a little long, I'm seeing, so we're gonna straighten it and there we are. That's a bit short. Oh well, not a big deal. It's a piece of wire. If it's not cooperative later, you can just do it again. So yeah, you, oh, okay. So you didn't see what I just did. But you know, it's copper, so it's flexible enough that you can just put it in there. And oh. And then just adjust it to fit. There we go. And I'll try and get my colors better on this one. Oh yeah, there we go. Now I can mount onto a belt and be usable. So, oh, so I, I curled the ends around so that it doesn't come out and then the end there so that they're not prone. Where you're gonna get scratched by them hopefully. That one's a little wonky. Push it down. There we go. Awesome. Oh yeah, you can see. Right, get this back out again. Yeah, so I made the uh you see that. Yeah, I had to change the hook. The top one's the old design. This one should work much better. Let's see, it slips in. Oh yeah, that's much better. See it has much more. Oh gosh. Much better contact with the belt. Okay. Alright. Wear your flags proudly. <laughs>